Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in this lesson, we're going to be learning about generating a watershed analysis in Civil 3D. So let's get started. In this exercise, you'll generate and display the watershed analysis. This exercise uses the surface-5a drawing in your tutorials folder. So let's get started. In the tool space, go ahead and navigate to your surface in the prospector. Right click on your surface and select surface properties. Now go ahead and choose your surface style. Let's select watersheds. After that, go up to the analysis tab and for the type, select watersheds. Now ensure that standard is selected in the legends list. Next, you see this little downward arrow right here? Go ahead and select that. Now our watershed analysis has been developed. Next, click this light bulb off to the far right. Now next to boundary point and boundary segment, we want to turn off these watershed types. Click OK once, and then click OK the second time. Now go ahead into your surfaces and expand those out. Click on your watersheds, and then you get a tabulated list of all of our watershed areas right here. And what it does is it fixes an ID and a particular type of watershed. So for example, as we scroll down here, we have boundary point, boundary segment, and then it gets into depression and it also lists where this watershed drains to. So go ahead and select 112, right click and select zoom to. And This will take us right to our watershed area and it shows us where this is draining to. We select 130, zoom to that, then it shows us the catch basin that it's draining to. So that's how you go about generating a watershed analysis in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.